what's up everybody um today i wanted to um start a series on seven days to die um to go along with a lot of the other stuff i'm doing on the channel but i also wanted to kind of put a spotlight on a map i came across um that looked really interesting to me especially if you're a walking dead fan uh, because this is a map based on the walking dead universe it is a walking dead map and so I wanted to do a playthrough and explore the map, you know, kind of show it to everybody. While at the same time, um, test out Alpha 20. Because in all honesty, I've been playing Alpha 16 since, yeah, 17 dropped. <clears throat> and to say, I, I don't want to say anything bad about the updates, but just... At the time when 17 came out and, you know, the previous alphas, at that point in time, I really just was not feeling the direction the game was going in. However, I saw this map and, you know, I decided, you know, maybe it would be a good time to sort of take a look at everything, you know, see what they've done. Um, especially while in anticipation for the new Alpha 21 coming out. Now, I've tested this on, on the mod website. Uh, it's going to say it's for Alpha 20.5, but it will work for Alpha 20.6. So the latest version will work. These are my settings. Obviously, I have everything to walk. Uh, because I'm doing an exploration of the map, I set my drop on death to nothing. So these are the settings I'm going to be running the game at. Um, let me change the name here. We'll just type YouTube at the end of it. And we will start our game. Now, when you load in, uh, you will load in to the hospital, just like the pilot episode of The Walking Dead when Rick Grimes wakes up. So, I thought that was actually kind of neat. Um, when you install the mod, from what I can tell, the there's only one file in your game folder that it will overwrite. So, if you want to re-roll it uh, without going through any changes, <clears throat> I'd probably move that file to a uh, backup folder or something, you know, within the game folder. Just create an additional folder and drag and drop it there. I want to say it's called uh, the localization file or whatever. It's a really small file, so it, it's it's not really going to be that big of a deal to move out the way. Now, the first load on any new game, if if you're new to Seven Days to Die, is it will take a kind of a minute to load up the world the very first time because you have to generate the entire world. Um, I started playing this game back in Alpha 10. And one thing I liked about random generated maps was um, <clears throat> that they were endless. And I can't remember what alpha they, they stopped that at, but it was roughly around alpha 14 when I noticed that they that they cut that out. Um, so that's probably one of the things that I don't like about how the maps are done now is the fact that um, they're not really random generated like they used to be. So once you hit that wall, it, it sort of breaks the immersion or whatever a little bit. But that having been said, the maps are fairly sizable. Now, what I generally do when I start a new game is I will, uh, and this is just an old habit. You guys don't have to do this, but I normally will just rotate all of the starting crap off my toolbar. You know, that way I can put everything that I want to put that I either loot or craft in my toolbar, and this is out of my way. The other thing I do when I start a fresh game is that I uh, log out and restart the game entirely. That way it saves and I have no problems. So give me one quick sec, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um... 
so we're all good one thing about uh doing this also technically uh the load time should be faster but i am noticing with this alpha that mm, i'm not really noticing a major load difference um i don't know if it's because i'm running obs or what but it did seem kind of take a little bit anyway you start off in a room like this kind of like in the show so and you can loot stuff. I think when I tested it, I got a poncho, so I actually had thought that was pretty cool. I'm surprised. I got a shirt, so I guess it is random. Um, now I'll take you guys on a tour of the hospital. One thing to note is that when you hit it, it's kind of like a traitor. None of this can take damage so you cannot hammer your way out of here at all and you do have to try to sort of figure out where you're going to get out at now there are items that you can loot um, let me see if I can get up here before you leave so if you want to eh, that was not good so if you want to kind of run around and loot before you leave you can uh, gotta hold downstairs here so like for example you come here uh, Interesting, okay. I was gonna say this file cabinet should have been lootable. Uh, new journal entry dysentery, interesting. Do not tell me I got dysentery just from walking around the hospital. New melee weapons okay interesting okay now this area I have been in before quite interesting I did uh when I when I did test this I I really did not explore too much other than trying to figure out how to get out of the hospital so this is like a whole new area and the way I had to get out of the hospital was via a hole in the wall so it's quite neat of course nothing in here for me to loot And initially, I came here and was not able to get out. So, and <clears throat> I was trying to get back there, but yeah, had all that crap blocking my way. And since you can't really destroy or damage it, I tried crouching to get in there, but that yeah, didn't really work out for me. <laughs> Um, let's see, I've already been in that room. So. Unlocked. What's in here? Okay. Why not? That work. I just want some pants. Ah, dang. 
I completely forgot about them. So yeah, like in the show, you're gonna have walkers right there at the door. And they are unable to get in because the whole place is not destructible. I completely forgot about those. They kind of made me jump a little bit. That seems like a lot more of them than what I thought uh, was originally there from the last game, but it might have been because I was running around real fast. Yeah, when I first walked in here, I was definitely waiting for something to, like, jump up at me, and I'm like, oh my god, I don't have a weapon, can't make a weapon. Especially that dude. So this is kind of a motivator to want to get out of dodge. Because you don't want to risk all these people waking up on you. Some loud ass people. Alright, you stay in there. Uh, really? Paper in the toilet. Okay, whatever. Well, I guess that makes sense. We'll just call that toilet paper. It's too bad they took the turd out of this game. Man, I used to have complete crates full of nothing but poo. I miss my poo collection. It's great fertilizer. You get a good headshot in. Alright, so. Digging in the trash. You know what? Probably come back here and see if there's anything worth anything. Probably just paper. Yep, I was right. Paper. Alright, you know what? Let's get out of here. Let's find the door. Let's try to remember what damn direction we went. Man, y'all are loud. Y'all need to be quiet. Y'all are breaking my concentration. So I know there's a hole in the wall. I'm just trying to remember. Now, I don't know if I bugged out in the last game, but I had like this whole super speed thing going on at one point. When I tested it out, trying to run around through here. But it might have also been because I was testing something out in debug mode. Okay, um, I don't... Can I get over there? Oh, you know what? 
not being crouched might be a good idea. I uh, don't recall going up here. Oh, yeah, actually I did come up here. That's right, I remembered this was a complete and total waste of time. Anything from the janitor? No. Oh, that's just awesome, trying to remember the way out, and you totally forget. There we go, there's my super speed. That was my super speed, let's see, I think I... Got a guy in there. I think I need to get back to the other side of that hole. There we go. There's the hole. That's what I wanted. Oh, you loud ass people. Okay, so to simplify this for people, this is your starting room. I completely forgot. You just walk right over here, go into this room here, and That'll be the hole in the wall. That is how you have to actually get out of the hospital. So, um, if you want to explore, loot the hospital before you leave it, you can. But this is definitely the way out the front door of this mod. And you do have to kind of crouch. So, and then you're going to look down there. You're going to see a dumpster. And you're going to... Try to jump on said dumpster. There you go. And I'm gonna loot dumpster. Oh, there's Wilma. Hey, Wilma. Okay, you know what? We're not gonna worry about looting dumpster. Or maybe we will. Oh, Wilma is actually hopping on stuff. That didn't happen last game. Uh, in a minute. Damn, Wilma, you you. Just hoppity hop hop hop. Bye, Wilma. Alright. We're, we're done messing with Wilma. And I am encumbered, so that's just awesome. Um, let's see if we can. Oh, I have to actually hit where. I don't want to use you. I want to wear you. And we'll wear you. Uh, let's see. Awesome. I have no pants. Alright, so now we can actually get to exploring the map. I'll actually stick you there. Probably gonna need you. Um, okay, is the grass not destructible either? Alright, so maybe we have to kind of go a little further out. Out of stamina.
So I'm curious how far out I have to actually go. So we have the trader here. Uh, I'm hoping homeboy didn't make the whole world destructible. Nothing. We got it there. All right. So. Trader. Now I normally make a start point, so I usually do that when I first spawn in. Uh, we'll start. I'm also going to Hospital, there we go. Alright, so we're not gonna stay at the trader because obviously it's night time. We need to see how far out we go before we can actually start hitting stuff. There we go, so alright. We're starting to get a little concerned there that the map might be a little bugged. So. And the one thing I like about this game, other than the fact that I'm running out of stamina every two seconds, is um, everything has a purpose. Compared to other survival games, everything down to a single blade of grass has a purpose in this game. You do not find that in a lot of survival games. That row. Let's craft this bed row. And we'll figure out where to make said bread roll in a minute. Well, let's just go on it. All right. Yes. We definitely want to pick it up so we can go on with our quest. One stone axe, yes we do. quest I wanted to get to. Let's stick you there for the time being. Have you, have you. Need more wood. There we 
we go. Make this a bow. So the crafting looks like it has changed a little bit. Trying not to be disturbed. I generally knock all the quests out when I start a game, just to get them done. Alright, thank you, great survival. Alright. And I am encumbered. It's one of the things I'm not becoming a fan of. Now I do not, other than this map, um, I ha I do not have the gameplay modded in any way, shape, or form. All right, let's see what we can do about our. Encumbrance here. Move a few things. Trader Joel's is now closed. Well, thank you, Trader Joel. Alright, so if we move to the toolbar, does that Take a little bit from the encumber. Hell no. Oh, and I have to talk to him in the morning, so. so. That's great. So there's a barn over there. Usually when there's a barn, that means there is dogs. So what we're going to do. Is. I guess go kill this guy before we, well, he ain't noticing us with his little crawly ass. Let's see if we can make a chest. Let's see if we can make a chest. Or, actually, Let's see if we find a little spot for the night. Yeah, man, messing around in that hospital. <clears throat> I wasted a whole day. You know, I worry about looting that stuff. You know, stop getting into the woods. And you might want to not do the run button. So we're going to stick a little chest back here. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I think this works. 
I think this works. We'll just drop some stuff in here for the time being. Or we type chest, since I can't remember where it is. Of course, I need wood. So, of course I need wood. Ah, dude, seriously? Alright, I got back here and I... Oh well, I need wood. We'll make our own door later. Really? So we don't get a lot of... What the hell? Yeah, we'll get a lot of wood from this stuff and... Four? Oh man, they, they changed this. This is like a stupid amount. There we go. Alright, so in our bedroll. Why are you not dropping? There we go. Good enough. Good enough. Go we'll make a door. enough for a door now let's make sure is door not yeah so it's definitely gonna have to be like this And we're gonna lock said door. Alright, so this is gonna be our little pit stop here, whatever. Um, got a few hours, so I'm going to probably skip at this part of the video. 
because I'm going to wait it out until morning where I have a little more daylight to explore. All right, so we are now at morning time. I almost didn't know if I was going to make it through the night uninterrupted. Yeah. They all was walking around my little shop here, my little stand. Yes. I even bookmarked it. Cool stand. I have my own stand. Feel free to shop at my place in the apocalypse anytime. We have all the good deals. Oh, my man. I'm hearing them. Don't knock on the door yet, big guy. Don't knock on the door yet. I'm actually amazed that they have not picked up on me yet. Shit! Okay, okay. Well, so they figured out where I was. They figured out where I was, but I... I need to close the shop, guys. You know, it's just an all night stand. Just needed to show, close the shop. That's all. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, don't damage my property, okay? I don't have it insured yet. Appreciate you. Oh, come on. I think it took a minute to... Uh... Alright. So, let's go see if the trader has opened yet. Um, I can't remember what time he opens. I guess my man ain't open yet. Did I go around the wrong way? Wood in the garbage. How nice. Yeah, some of the looting could be improved on what would be more realistic to find where. So I'm going to guess Trader Joe is opening at 6, if I recall correctly. Um, let's see, I think we came that way. That's the hospital. Hurry up, trader. I'm just kind of looking around, trying to figure out which way I want to head. I know I don't want to go to that barn. Not at least until I'm geared up a little bit with something a little more than what I've got. Uh, let's see, I suppose I could say hi to this guy. What's up, Fred? Oh. Come on, Fred. And of course, uh, you can no longer loot zombies, which I don't really care for that myself. Um, I kind of actually miss being able to loot them. I think that was one of the things I liked about 16 was that you could uh, loot them. It was, To me, it was a little more realistic. You know, it was like you're checking your pockets for X, Y, and Z. They despawn a lot quicker. Um, I guess for performance reasons, that would be a good thing. Alright, come on, man. One minute's not going to make or break you. Seriously? Wow. 
Oh. Trader Joe's is now open. You butthole. Look like shopping in your place. You ain't gonna wait five minutes after. Now you want to let people in. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that's not where I want to go. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think you can even loot stuff here. If you were here to buy, I've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland. Why, Joe, you have boobs now. Alrighty then. Uh, we're going to say... Never mind, because I only wanted to complete the quest. So, thanks a lot, Joe. I'm not going to bother looking around there. I want to kind of get on with the exploring of the map. I'm pretty sure that's what everybody wants to see. Let's see what we can't spot from the show. Now, I normally play uh, a No Man style when I'm doing a single player game. So I, I don't normally do a lot of base building. I, I kind of just like what I did with this stand over here. I pick spots and I kind of camp out at them. I drop a chest here or there, you know, and I kind of like to move around and explore the map a little bit. So, let's see. I'm wondering, are you supposed to be... Okay, so I can damage it. That's good to know. I'm wondering if this is supposed to be uh, either Rick or Morgan's house. Or if it's going to be a little farther in town. But It's a nice house. Can we actually get over without... No. <sighs> Remember, don't have a climbing feature. Would be nice. Um, I probably could make a ladder though. Out of stamina. Probably a good thing to do would be to drink some water, eat some aguas. We'll eat our one can of food. All right, come on, give me a little more. Doesn't last long. I don't know why I thought I saw a bird nest there. No, I want to actually... Nah, you know what? Let's actually go look for some stuff. Common foods. I do need food. Food? They be good. Alright, so we're probably gonna have to go in here.
No way to open this door? Come on, it's gotta be a way to get Where do I get? Well, they'll do my work for me. Come on. You guys, um, I need food. At least that'll work. Okay. Instead of going through the door you actually saw me at, um, we'll make that work. Oh, it's quite a bit of you. Alright. Maybe a few of you, okay. Alright. It's a group effort, I get it. Alright. Oh, I kind of missed him. Alright, so... Well, it's a lot of you. But look, all I want is the same thing you guys want, is a little bit of food. Might not want to wear out my stamina though. So, you know what, I'm doing this all wrong. I'm doing this all wrong. Hold on. I'm doing this all wrong. I gotta remember, this is not Alpha 16. So, hold on. I'm doing this all wrong. Well, apparently they're not gonna give me time to do it right. So, oh, hold up, hold up. Oh, more you? Okay, I got it, you know. Yeah. Eggs, eggs, very, very good. Eggs, but, oh, we definitely don't want to go in there. I'm pretty sure there's a dog over there that I don't want to pet. You know, I'm, I'm just, I just don't want to pet a dog right now. You know, I'm a dog lover, but you know, those dogs are kind of mean. All right, so what do I want? I want a stone spear. What am I missing? I have wood. Stone. Of course. I dropped all my stone off. That was of course. Well, let's not go petting dogs. Make some plant fiber. I did think about just cheap menuing myself a motorcycle and doing a whole big ride around or whatever, but you know, I just thought it would be kind of a little more detail orientated, actually doing a legit playthrough. Um, you tend to run into more things like that when you have to actually run and look around. Alright, so we need a spear. Probably a good idea to do two spears or can I not do two spears? No, I am minus a stone. Right. Two more stone. No problem. No problem. There we go. Eh, we have a few more stones. Just, you know, fair purposes. Tap that one a little bit, tap that one a little bit. There we go. Let's be more than enough. I forgot how weak these weapons are when you start. So we're already repairing. Oh, I have a flashlight that might come in handy. Hopefully, I don't require batteries. Let's see, we'll stick you on the hot bar, and we're gonna put you on the hot bar. Let's put you back on, huh? Let's put you there for now. Gotta 
a little organized. Oh, and I do have a sandwich, so... There we go. Alright, okay, so... Now. Now we go get food. Food very, very good. Of course, running out of energy before we get to the food place. Very, very bad. And hopefully there are no more Kmart choppers or whatever over there hoarding up all my food. Alright, I'll look at that, apparently. I'd say this is probably the closest we'll ever get to an actual Walking Dead survival game. Yeah, they really should have capitalized that on that when the uh, the show was at its peak. So we do have a Kmart shopper. Oh, two Kmart shoppers. Okay, at least everybody else left, so that that's fine. Oh no, that's uh, that looks like three. That's three. That is definitely the three. Okay, um... Got it. Alright. Yep. Okay, so... I know, I realize you guys want to do a team effort thing here, but... It's not gonna happen. And, of course... I'm drawing more attention. I knew they were going to get one in. I just knew they were going to get one in. Going to need to work this out a little bit. Get a little bit more of that stamina back up. Alright, Wilma. You're up. Alright, Brad. That's kind of a dick move. Can you stay down, Brad? Stay down, Fred. Okay. Uh, it's Bob. Bob always wears a helmet. Look, Bob. Um, <clears throat> I was just trying to shop, man. So I, I was. I'm gonna go in here and shop. Is that cool? Bob. There's Bob. I'm not playing with you, Bob. Bob. Okay. All right. Bob. I told you I wasn't playing with you, Bob. You, oh, really? You gonna get back up? You, really? Damn it, Bob. Shit. Oh, Bob is messing me up. Damn it, Bob. See what you started. Sit your ass down, Bob. You sit your ass down. Damn it, man. Right. You oh, you getting back up? Is he? You know, you trying to fake me out? Now you're not faking nothing. Man. What a bandage do I have? Okay, so I might be definitely end up using that bandage. Can I not? How did y'all get through this? I still had to break the glass. Went all by on and cut myself. All right, so now we can shop. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. Ah, crap. Crap. I don't know if 
y'all heard that, but I heard that. Hey, somebody else shopping over there. A little food. There's some money, though. I can go to the trade with that. Oh, crap. It's a lot of shoppers there. Okay. So, let's all go outside. Work this out like proper adults. Yeah, because I, I don't really want to mess the store up. But yeah, you, you got one of y'all just really gonna. Alright. Y'all just. Alright, that's, that's another one. Look, man. It's not customer service friendly. And I, oh shit. There we go. Okay. Something is. We're gonna have to swap out. Y'all are wearing my, my tools down. I couldn't even hit. I had to swap out. Okay, am I bugging? Now I'm running out of stamina. And I'm getting my ass whooped. You know what? I might not want to be run all the way into the damn next parking lot where there's more not so customer friendly service people hanging out at. You know, let's get back over here at the food place. Y'all bring your ass back over to Kmart. Bring your ass back over to Kmart. Let's discuss this. I don't believe. Alright. I'm telling you, we. <laughs> We gonna talk about some stuff. Told you we gonna talk about some stuff. All right, come on, come on. Let's have that conversation. Let's have that conversation. Uh, conversation over. They got more people to talk to in there. Alright, so. Then what you probably do is. Repair our stuff. There we go. Now we can go have that conversation. Now we can go have that conversation. I'm supposed to be taking everybody on a tour. And we haven't even started the tour. Because I can't even shop because y'all are nasty. <sighs> so rude around here. Really? Look, I just want to shop. Look, lady. I know you're the typical Walmart shopper or whatever. It's all up in somebody's grill, but you, you need to go on with that. I'm waiting on her to get back. Oh, okay. She did. We was making sure. Never be too careful. Never be too careful. Okay, I want food, people. You don't give me anything but.
I got time to be growing stuff. Yeah, I know I'm encumbered. Okay, well, we're not really going to worry about going back there right now. We're just trying to find us a little bit of food. A hunger, man, a hunger. All right, there we go. Food. All that one dang can. Man. Wow. All right. Anything on the shelves? Well, at least I'm not going to die of thirst anytime soon. Might die from everything else. Oh, 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 where were you? Come on, there we go. Oh, that's so annoying. Only want another can, give me another can. Let's, well, let's see, what were you? Chicken ration, okay, so. I guess that'll have to do. I guess that'll have to do, and we'll just have to clearly go hunting for our own food. Shopping just ain't what it used to be. Shopping just ain't what it used to be. Oh, well, I went to crap. I can't even get a Coca-Cola or a root beer. Empty cash register. Okay, well, they can beat on whatever back there. I've, I've, I've done all the looting I'm going to do here. Uh, I right, see I'm being interrupted. I miss the days when I could loot cans off of you buttholes. You still need five dollars. So, oh, that's kind of neat. Apparently, Carl has a place. Alright, I'm hearing something. But maybe we'll camp out at Carl. Since we gotta go look for Carl. Cracker Cafe. Actually. I don't know, do we want to camp out at Carl? Carl's car. Let's see what's in Carl. Hi. Oh. Rude. Alright. Alright, so, we're like an Ewok with the spear. So, let's see what we're going to do. 
I want to move into Carl. We're going to set up a little camp here at Carl. I'm not really seeing a whole lot that's going to be needing to be looted here. Yeah, you're you're messing up my place. Right, Should have helped me look for Carl. Right. And I got a coffee maker. Oh, wow. So... We're gonna actually camp out on the top of Carl. We are actually gonna, yeah, I think we're gonna camp out on the top of Carl. Let me see how I'm gonna do this. Ladder. There we go. Uh, interesting how we're going to make that work. Let's see, I don't really want to, let's do this. Frame shapes. Give me two, because we're going to need a total of two. I think we're going to need a total of two. We're definitely going to need a total of two. Alright, so we're going to do that. Interesting. Huh. Put it like that. Yeah. Oh, I definitely messed up. Definitely messed up. So, let's say, a little frame go here. Why can I not climb it? Or, do I have to climb it on the other side? Oh. Well. That simply will not do. Crap. Oh, well, hell. I press E to pick up. You must rip. There. Okay, thank you. Yeah. That ain't working. Ah, let's try this again. Okay, that's that's where it goes. So
There we go. And then we come up here. Oh, and it is getting dark. It looks like the weather is getting better. Oh, it's raining. Really? So the minute I sit here and come up on the roof, you decide you want to rain. And of course, I have Wilma up here, of all people. Look, Wilma. You're messing my place up. And I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it one bit. But thanks for letting me know there are crates up here. Uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, you know, that was so awesome of you. This, uh, probably would have been better to try to use a door to get in here. Is there a door in here? Maybe. Yeah, there, see there's a nice little opening. Shotgun Messiah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, thank you for moving out of the way. Oh, so I I actually do have a nice little cubby hole that I can. Oh, this is so neat. Yeah, we're definitely we're we're definitely chillaxing at Carl. Um, Carl is so awesome. Thank you, Carl. Man. All right, so we need a a chest. Put all our nice juicy loot in. That's the thing I love about this game is you can have so much loot. That you can loot hoard to your heart's content. So let me see how I'm going to do this. Oh, I could. Yeah, but we're not going to stick that up there. We'll just stick you right there. That'll work. Alright, and all the. Nice and juicy loot. Is being stored. Okay, we're going to keep at least a can for ourselves to eat. Art of Mining Volume 7. Okay, I don't have a gun yet, so we're not going to bother carrying that around. Empty can, but we'll need to carry an empty can. Eh, we're gonna leave that empty that frame right there for now. So I think everything else we're gonna hold on to. Trying to hold off on using any of that. We'll just stick that there for now. Alright, so much better. So much better. Lanterns, you can't work if you can't see. Learn how to craft lanterns, mining hats, and helmet light mods. So of course, I love to learn. What else I like to do? I like to eat. Alright, so let's see how that does. Definitely gonna probably have to go hunting. Have another drink of water. Didn't mean to do that. Definitely a lot of rain. I don't appreciate you squatting in my spot. Oh. Oh, that is uh, so not nice. So not nice. You are not allowed to squat at Carl. And of course there is you being a lazy man. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to have to watch how we step here. Right on the edge. Right on the edge. What? No, I don't think so, dude. Alright, you're dead. Yeah, 
And we're gonna shut that because we don't need that open. Let's clean up Carl's place here. Uh, maybe not a good idea to walk on top of that. Y'all ever saw that episode of Walking Dead where all the walkers fell into a thing like that? Yeah, it's not good. Very, very bad. So, I think we're good here for the moment. I think we're going to use this as our cutoff point for this episode. And we will run around and explore the map, or attempt to anyway. Let me go get some more food though before we end this episode. We, we can't, we, we can't just, I can't do that. Chicken rations or lamb rations, let's see. Food 15? Uh, not really big difference, but hey. We will. There you go. You gotta have a little more on your stomach. Let's see how far that goes up. Oh, come on, man. Your stomach should not be growling that much. You didn't get that much out of it. Okay. So, definitely gonna have to do some hunting. Um. But I'm going to do a cutoff point right here. Uh, we will attempt to travel around a little bit more as time goes on. So let me know what you guys think in the description if you want to see more of this or not. I'm probably going to play this, like I said, off and on uh, while I'm working on other stuff. But I'm definitely kind of in a seven days to die mood lately and been kind of curious to see what they've changed so far. Even if they drop out the Alpha 21 while I'm working on this series, I am still going to complete this series because I am curious to see the entire map. So hopefully you, got, you guys enjoy the episode and um, yeah, like and subscribe. Take care. Stay safe, everyone.